once again welcome to psolutions.com my name is amit and in today example i am going to show you you can use epm automate utility you can invoke epm automate utility as an excel add in so in the previous example i shown you how you how you can control the complete application life cycle by using epm automate whether it is metadata loading data loading or loading currency exchange rate today is a tiny example and i would show you how you can invoke a batch file epm automate batch file in excel add-in so as always the first step in case you haven't downloaded the epm automate utility download epm automate utility from your command prompt so this is step first download and install epm automate utility this you can find when you log in to the uh, your instance in your instance right below your username you find there an option called downloads and this is called epm automate you can download for windows or linux both or any one of them depends upon what is your underlying operating system download and install and then you find an epm automate utility it is in your command prompt right and uh, this is also appear in your start menu so once this utility is downloaded the next step you log into the server and then you execute all the commands so log into the server and execute epm automate command okay let's see how it is done so in order to save your time i already created a batch file over here i'll open a notepad and show you how it works so this batch file the epm automate login the username is pass and an argument so i created a variable called user this is my user on run time whatever you write over here get replaced with the username so username password is passed as an argument and it is encrypted file the url of your instance and domain name the password has to be encrypted so in case you haven't encrypted the password yet you can still do this so there is a epa in automate pass password encrypt utility and you define your password over here so for example i'm typing my password over here and uh, you define the key so define key the location where you want to keep your password so c drive password name of your password my password so your password get encrypted and stored now this location see sort by timestamp this is your encrypted password you can fa pass this file as an argument so this is what exactly i did over here epm automate login username as a variable password as an argument and uh, username uh, url and domain okay this is my password this is my actual password so whatever your path you can put over path over here okay then i use epm automate cube refresh this will it is going to refresh your cube and log out i use the pause over here so in case the batch file gets executed it will take a pause okay let's invoke this batch file before we associate with associate it with uh, excel macro can double click and the file get executed and you can read all the instructions which are getting executed you can open the batch file and see these instructions are getting executed open a notepad and uh, you can see how this batch file is getting executed step by step okay so the login successful which is line number 
okay not this is not the one i open wrong one ep automate refresh so login done successfully and the queue refresh is going on queue refresh done successfully and log out and take a pause over here because every activity in the apm is a job you can actually see this job executed over here under application job so you see a recently executed job called cube refresh under job let's see cube refresh is done just now so my batch file is working perfectly as expected the next step i need to invoke this batch file from my excel add-in okay so open excel the third step is i'll create an add-in and associate this add-in with my excel add-in i create a macro and associate this with excel add-in so i create macro this macro this is going to invoke batch file and followed by this i associate this macro with excel add-in okay let's do it so i already have one macro over here let me disable it first while practicing i created one let me erase it and i'm going to create a new one for you sometime you don't find a developer tag or menu available over here in that case you can go to option and enable developer tag under main tabs just click on this checkbox your developer tag will appear okay so i'm going to create a macro name your macro i call is cube refresh and write your macro so you see a function got created a procedure got created with cube refresh start and end now you can write a procedure what do you want so i'm going to execute a batch file in order to execute batch file you need to write a shell shell and this is command line so i run command line with k argument and define your batch file ampersand which is going to append and put your batch file over here so my batch file is under oracle auto refresh point your batch file and the second argument over here will be normal uh, normal this is actually front slash normal focus okay this shell command output is going to be stored in your system so i'll save the output of this shell in my variable put in a double quotes it consider as a string and i would save this output in a variable so i create a variable dim call execute statement and the output was going to store this is as double variable double this is save over here i also want to save this sheet so there's an option called this workbook dot save property equals to true that's it so you can also disable application alert message application uh, display alerts make it false in case you do not want to see an alert so you display alert you want to save this workbook and you are going to execute this command right save this i name it as a cube refresh and then final step i execute this cube refresh associate with my excel add-in okay so i'm going to create a new excel add-in options add-ins new excel add-in uh yes over here new name it i create a new 
custom tab and group. I rename it as EPM Automate. You can name it whatever you like and group. I would call it as Refresh Queue. Give you icon you like to give and associate with this macro. So cube refresh is my macro. That's it. Okay. Now the moment you do it, you find the option over here EPM automate with one button called cube refresh. When you click on cube refresh, it is going to invoke my batch file and in turn refresh my cube. So you see your batch file got invoked, right? The same batch file I show over here. So you can open this batch file in notepad and see what all instructions are executing step by step. This file is getting executed. Line one is login successfully and cube refresh initiated. When cube refresh initiated, you can see the job is being executed in your application under jobs, application jobs. See, the job is being executed, isn't it? The status you can see over here. Once execution done successful, a message will pop up. Message would be dragged over here. Right, it'll take few seconds. Cube refresh is done successfully and log out and it'll take a pause. I given a pause option over here. So it will remain over here because I just to keep track of the messages. That's it. So this is how you can associate. This is a one simple example. You can associate Excel macros with EPM automate through EPM. You can call a batch file through Excel macro that this batch file contains EPM automate instruction. In a subsequent example, I show you how do you, you can use the bulk loading, bulk loading of driver and assumption. This is one of the big, biggest hurdle when you set up an application. All what I shown you is given over here in this PPT. You can download and execute all the instructions subsequently. The next example I show you how to load drivers and assumption directly from Excel through EPM automate utility remaining in Excel. So that's it for today. Should you have any question, please feel free to visit to our site bhpsolutions.com. Thank you.